Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and today I'm going to show you how to change the background color of preloader for your blocks website. So you might have heard that a couple of days ago I have released this new kind of template but it is basically the mock-up of Apple's iPhone 12 Pro website. So let's open it in blocks. It doesn't matter blocks 4 or blocks 4.2, the better version I'm opening here. And if we go to preview mode, you will see that we have this black background when we are shown preloader. You can see this animation we had when we are switching to the preview mode. And the thing is, by default, it is obviously white. It's white background. And I have changed it to black and in this video I want to show you how I, how I have done that. What I did, if we go to class manager, you can see that I have added this page preloader class. So if I get rid of it and go to preview, you can see that now it's white background again. It is white by default and the thing is we have this preloader animations we can choose different ones here but they are all they're all white i mean the background for all of this is white and we can drop in drag and drop the gif files or we can click here and add our own gif files our own animations this different color background but the background of the page itself will be white still so what we need to do here what you usually do, you will go to class manager and in subclass library, we now have page preloader. So let's add this class, open it. And the first thing you might think of doing is changing the background color. And this is how I thought I will do that. I will change it to black and just click done. Let's go to preview to see if it's working for us. As you can see, it's obviously not working because the background is black now, but the background of the animation itself is white. And it is because the GIF file itself has the white background. So obviously we can change the background to black and then just change the animation GIF but it's too much work, isn't it? So what we can do here instead, we can go to page preloader and instead of setting the color using the background color tab here, let's get rid of that. We will do something else. We will go to CSS filters. You might ask why we go there. Well, because now we have a cool, cool workaround. We can go to filter and add the invert filter. Set it to 100%, click done. Might not make any sense to some of you, but if we go to preview, you can see that now we have the black background, not only for the preloader itself, but also for the GIF animation image file as well. And I will explain how this is happening here. I think most of you already know how it's happening here, but let's add some image. Let's add some image and there are a bunch of images I have for this project. I think this one will actually work very well to show. You can see this is black and white image. So let's add the class to this image. Let's say invert colors. We can name it whatever we want. Open the class editor and if we add the filter, well, obviously we have blur, saturate, contrast, whatever, but what we need here is invert. And what this filter will do, it will basically change colors. White will become black and black will become white. You can do that 50%, it will be something strange, but if you go 100%, you can see that the black color well, white color is now black and the black color is now white. And it's actually quite surprisingly useful tip we can use for things like preloader. So obviously, if we change to some other picture, you can see that some colors will get inverted as well. 
but as long as your as long as you use the colors you have in blocks animation like preloader animations it will basically work amazingly well so this is the video i want to show you today if you have any questions about this mock-up or any other template or blocks in general leave them in the comments below or get in touch and i will always do my best to help you have a nice productive week and i will talk to you in the next video